All right, we got to talk about what you, what you all are talking about. Actress Nia Long says she was blindsided after her fiance, Boston Celtics head coach, Ime Udoka, admitted to having an affair. According to TMZ, Nia just moved to Boston with their 10-year-old son, was house hunting, even though Ime was fully aware the team knew about his affair. And we're launching an, an investigation into his relationship with a married front office staffer. Now, the Celtics recently suspended him for the entire season. In a statement to ESPN, he apologized to the players, fans, and his family for letting them down and accepted the team's decision. Erica, you're you're making a face. Go. Oh, first of all, uh, we must protect Nia Long. I at know. All costs. Who she is, is like Long? One of the most unproblematic people right. that has braced us with her presence for the past like what 25 years. Now, is this a messed up situation? Yes, it is. It's also a very personal situation. But the idea that like he would have an affair, knowing that there was going to be consequences, and not loop her in, so maybe I don't know. She didn't like uproot her family. They have a 10 year old son together in order to chase his dream that he knew might have, you know, be coming to an end or be suspended. That being said, I agree with Stephen A. Smith. I think that this is opening up a huge can of worms because this isn't even the top sports story right now. I would say Brett Farvis. Um, it's not the top sports story, but we're all talking about it. And there's a lot of people that this potentially applies to. So I don't think anybody really wants this because if this witch hunt continues, oh, like it. there will be another person, then there will be another person and it's going to affect your team and your player or whoever it might be or your politician, whatever it is. So I don't know if people really want this smoke. What would but you please say, protect Mia? me along. Or what would, Mia? You, you, you should be put, you should be get jail time if you cheat on Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Forget the year suspension. Right. You're in jail. Exactly. <laughs> Mary Lou, have you ever met her? What is your, no, your, your never general met her. That's somebody stuff. I haven't. I think that's the first name mentioned this week that I've never met. Right. Um, it's, you know, you never know what goes on behind closed doors or what happens with two people. I mean, I don't know. Do we have, do we know who this woman is? She's also married. So maybe that was like a safer person than some of the other people we've been talking about this week. I don't know. It's like, it's so hard to judge people. It is. It really, I mean, we can say in black and white, yeah, let's judge them for this, but there's stories behind stories behind stories. So I don't but know. But when we, when we talk about this, you may brought up a great point, but does it have something to do with, I understand cheating, is that what we're talking about, right? Or is it because the dynamic of him being that head coach and her being See, in a different I think, position I think it's that. and the dynamic there is the suspension, right. not the cheating aspect? Yeah. I think it's because she's a front office staff. Right. And I think when you confuse that, you've mixed in a whole other molasses. Right. into the mixture. I also think I'll be fine oh, to judge. Well, well, you know, like a whole other ingredient. Oh, you like molasses expensive. is very, very thick. I know. <laughs> well, it's it's a also sweet. And, but what I'm saying, too, is I feel as if um, he knew all of that, knew he was under investigation, and still went looking for yeah. a house. What a narcissist. Yeah, yeah what a psycho. It, true, right. But maybe he, well, did, he did, felt like, all oh, you know, it's all going to be resolved before she gets here with the kid. Oh, I'm a narcissist. Out. I they think it's gaslight, They Get gaslight. Out of there. Exactly. Run, Nia, run. Um, <laughs> I just really quickly want to echo what Erica said about privacy because Nia has broken her silence and it's I'll just summarize it she asks for privacy and she's mm. focusing on her children right now yeah but Sam, uh, can I just say, can yeah. you imagine being in this industry for 25 years, you have a squeaky clean yeah. rep reputation, and the person that you trust to bring in and have a child with right. is the reason why all of your business is out in the street. I would have like, so much anger. Deep and prayer. Yep. Deep prayer for her. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well said. All right. Sorry, Tori. It looks like Johnny Depp is off the market. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. He's reportedly dating his lawyer, Joelle Rich, who represented him in the UK. Back then, she was married but is now reportedly divorcing her husband. Joelle also was present during Johnny's most recent trial in Virginia and was spotted hugging Johnny's other lawyer, Camille Vasquez, although she was not part of Johnny's U.S. legal team. As you may remember, there were rumors that Johnny was dating Camille, and at the time, she called the speculation sexist. All right, Tori, you were the one, I think, that kind of brought up that Camille and him were dating. Are you surprised that he and the UK lawyer, Joelle, whatever. Joelle yeah. are dating. I know, I call it the George Clooney. You know how when he went with Amal Clooney. What a beautiful choice to have made after a disastrous um, a kaleidoscope of an affair or whatever it was with his, uh, what is her? Your adjectives are on point. I know, Amber Heard. <laughs> I think 
kaleidoscope. <laughs> Wouldn't you want to go from unstructured mess to like lawyer? To me, that's a, a strong move. It makes sense. He feels safe. I don't think Johnny Depp is innocent in all of this. Agreed. I think he's very dirty hands. But I think he looks cleaner and his reputation might look better by being with an attorney optically. But that's interesting. That's an interesting way to look at that opti optically because this is a woman who knows all the dirty secrets yeah. where all of the still... books are buried. And it's interesting and she that still she knows went with him. all of this. And she still yeah. agreed. Right, Maybe it's that she's money. like divorcing you know? her husband. Yeah to be with him. Um, and again, I'm very much like stay out of people's bedrooms. Oh, I do believe that. <laughs> um, but it is an interesting choice. I think it's a, and I'm saying this without any ju judgment, I think it's a good one. I think him. every relationship you have, the pendulum swings in the opposite direction, especially if you've had one extreme one, you go to the other extreme. And you do this until you find yourself like with the right person maybe who's like a little bit of both sides, you know? So I'm not surprised that he went to somebody yeah. who's, you know, straight and narrow, knew all the secrets and everything else, because after everything he's been through, he can, and then he can get lawyerly advice, you know, during pillow talk. Yeah. <laughs> and their spousal privilege, if they get married, they can't go after each other. On testimony. Wow. All right. He's well, got we aren't that far. I think yes. we could be. Let the, let the woman get divorced first. <laughs> All right. We also have to talk about yeah. this. Lori Loughlin is making a comeback. She is set to star in her first romantic comedy for the Great American Family Network called Fall into Winter. It's also her first major project since the college admission scandal that sent her to federal prison. In a statement, the network CEO called Lori. America's sweetheart, regardless of what happened in the past, and said he wants her to be the quote face of the network. Now I know you know Lori. I know I know Lori. I also know Candace, who's kind of the face of the network. Mm -hmm. Correct. You know. Yeah. How do you feel comfortable talking about it? If not, yeah, we, I'm, okay. I'm okay talking about it. I what mean, are your thoughts? I, I first of all, I think everybody loves a, you know a story where there's a comeback and everything else, and I think that things were very crazy for Lori, and I think she's done her time, and I think she's been very like apologetic about it and everything. Else. So, and we know it was a horrible situation and it never should have happened, you know. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. But I thought she did another project with Kevin Costner. So maybe that was put on hold because oh. of that. But there was another project in the works for her to do. do and, and I think she should play Roxy Hart on Broadway because that's what the mm. character does. You oh. know, they have sort of a, a, see, of a second chance. There that's you go. Fun. I like it for, I, she could be America's sweetheart, but she's got to be like America's dirty little sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's got to be a little bit of grime on you. Like, show yeah. it own it like yeah, own I am it. not perfect yes because yeah. I don't feel like him saying for Hallmark and all this or it's you're the face of the network I don't feel like that makes any sense whatsoever for the audience that we're listening to do you guys yeah. am I wrong she's so far away from me it's not Hallmark it's, it's, not Hallmark. it's, Hallmark. it's a great American family yeah. okay it's like me. the new fam the new word that Sam Matheson was on the Hallmark yeah. channel yes yeah it's the new version of it right yeah. Oh, okay whatever it is I don't feel like the the public would ever go so quickly to see her, Lori Loughlin, as America's sweetheart. So do you think it's going to backfire? Yes, I do. You don't I think do. people you are going to support her? No. I think people really don't feel like she's been apologetic. I don't think she has been very apologetic. I'm going to take the opposite of that. I think people are so far beyond that cancel culture mentality mm -hmm. that it's gotten so far that they're like, I'm ready for people to start having a comeback. I know it's only been two years, but listen. But it seems like, yes, it's like pre-pandemic. You know well, what I mean? Think, so it feels think like about like that. comedians that got canceled, like Dave Chappelle, I mean, gets a roaring ovation everywhere he goes. And then yeah. he kind of got in trouble with whatever. I'm not saying that, but people are tired of it. So I think a lot of people support people people who got X'd out in that cancel culture, right? Maybe for some reasons yes, some reasons no. But Lori Lachlan, I guess, she served her time, right? And if we're supposed to let people go to jail and come out and give them You're a right. new opportunity that, in life, but, why can't that be the same fair, for stars? But, but why elevate her to America's sweetheart? That that's just a, seems that's like a little a, extreme because right. I don't think she could ever have that title back. I agree. I agree right. with you. Yeah. I think what you said, though, really quickly, I uh, don't want to keep going on and on, but, you know, because I was more on like in my thoughts to what Tori said, but when you said people go to jail, I mean, the whole point is for them to come back and hopefully become a better person. And oops, <laughs> I thought I had a, an arm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right in, the, right in the middle of my compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna compliment Jeff, but I can't get through it. <laughs> <laughs> You changed my mind. Well we were trying to say I won Tory Law. <laughs> 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 Coming up on DBS.